Over the past decades, the enrollment numbers in primary education have risen rapidly in many developing countries. However, the learning outcomes lag behind. They are undermined by, among other things, frequent absence of teachers, lack of appropriate school equipment, and inefficient school administration. Attitudes towards particularly girls' education mean that many leave school already at lower grades. In Uganda, over 90% of children start school, but only about half of them complete primary education. Dropout rates are very high. The, the kind of enrollment is like a pyramid shape. Eh? So up there is a pinnacle and down here the, the bottom is, is, is wide. P1 enrollment, there are many children, but once you reach primary 7, you start with 200, then those who register for primary 7 are like 50. So where do the rest go? I think that's a challenge. The development project implemented by PLAN in Uganda is tackling these educational problems. It operates in over 100 schools in the Luwero district, funded by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Finland and Nokia. The focus of the project is on the children themselves and on the realization of how significant their own efforts can be in the school's administration and decision making. For instance, in the Kiziba school, the student core has been strengthened and its voice also in other governing bodies of the school has been enhanced. All grades are represented as it's easier for children to open up about their concerns and suggestions to their peers than to teachers, for example. Some children come for us and the terror has a problem like some parents, some parents, they don't want children to come at school. So when the children come and they face me, they told, they told me that problem then, and I told the patron, then the patron sent to the, and the patron for that children. They see, then I solve that problem. Within this project, the children's voice as part of the school's governance is reinforced by a communication model developed together with Nokia, where the core medium between the various parties is text messages. Pupils can anonymously convey a message to the district authorities should the teacher not turn up to class, funds granted for an agreed improvement not being used for their intended purpose, or corporal punishment is used at school. School mobiles given to the student bodies not only enhance supervision, but also improve other communications. The idea is that oppilaat voi lähettää tekstiviestillä nimettömänä tietoja koulun epäkohdista, ja toisaalta taas opettajat ja voi tiedottaa vanhemmille asioista, eli lähettää esimerkiksi kutsuja vanhempainiltoihin ja tämmöisiin kokouksiin. Eli se on vähän niin kuin tämmöinen paikallinen vilma, mitä nyt Suomessa, jos verrataan suomalaisen systeemiin, mutta toimii tosiaan tekstiviesteillä. Especially in rural communities such as Luero, long distances compound to slow down the work of the officials monitoring the schools. But the mobile technology component of the project has proved to be a good tool also in regional planning and in providing technical support. For instance, we have schools uh, in the recent rains, we had uh, uh, roofs, uh, sto the storms taking off the roofs. We would know that in a minute, that it would have taken us maybe two weeks to know, or one week, to know that this tragedy has befallen the school. But just in a minute after the rains, we know that already, and then we start planning. How are we going to assist these ones? When the messaging, the responsibilities and the supervision work, the learning results follow suit. Luero primary schools, which in the past fared poorly in the national school leaving exams, have today risen to the top of the regional league tables. It has reduced the rate of absenteeism for both pupils and teachers, because pupils can send messages. If a teacher is absent, they send the message. It has reduced on the rate of dropouts Children who start P1 and don't complete the cycle of P7, now it has been reduced because we can easily monitor. When there's good governance in the school, then performance has of automatically to increase. And once performance increases, then parents in the community get trust in the school and they bring in more pupils. So the enrollment has ridden. Instead of our school, before the introduction of this one, we had uh, roughly 700. But now we have risen to 921 pupils in the school. In, in, uh, in Niluero district, our school was the one of the worst schools. But now we are the one of the best schools in our district. 